Then uh, Deacon Long asked the question, do you love him? And of course, I love you, Jesus. Because I've been Sorry, I gotta start it over. <laughs> Because I've been so good You've always been there for me To provide my every need You were there when I was lonely You were there in all my pain Shelter from the rain And it was you Who made my life complete You are to me My everything And that is why I see I love you. Jesus, I love you. Because you care. Because you care. I couldn't imagine if you weren't there. Jesus, I love you. Because you care. I couldn't imagine if you weren't there. You are the joy of my salvation. You're the peace in my storms. Your loving arms protect me and shelter me from harm. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You're my strong tower, my dearest and best friend. And it was you. Who made my life complete You are to me My everything And that is why I see Jesus, I love you Jesus, I love you Because you care I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine if, you weren't there. if you weren't there. Jesus, I love you. Because you care for me. I don't know what I would do without him. Thank you, Lord. Sing it, Jesus. I Everything you've done for me. Jesus, I love you, I love you. Oh, you set me free. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. With all my 
I love you. I love you, Lord. I love you because you care. How did I make it all these years? How did I make it this far? Through the valleys and over the hills I know it had to be God How did I make it through the storm? How did I make it through the rain? If you want to know just how I got here, so easy to explain. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. Oh, I made it this far. By the grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. God grace. God grace. Oh, I made it this far. By the grace of God. Lord, I thank you for how you brought me. How you brought me through the night Lord, you kept me And you never left me Stood by my side There were so many times When I came so close Oh, man, death tried to take me in But the reason why I'm here today it's so easy to explain it was God grace it was God grace it was God grace it was God grace oh I made it this far by the grace of God God grace it was God grace. It was grace, grace. It was God grace. Oh, I made it this far by the grace of God. Lord, I thank you for how you brought me, how you brought me this far. Lord, you kept me, and you never left me. Stood by my side. There were so many times when I couldn't make it. There were so many times when I couldn't take it. God grace, but God grace, but God grace. It was God's grace. Oh, I made it this far. By the grace of God. Some people said, they said I wouldn't make it. Some people said, I wouldn't be here today. But God grace. God grace. Oh, I made it this far By the grace of God God grace Yeah, yes, I made it God grace brought me this for church yesterday So many 
the time I thought I wouldn't gonna make it, but God kept me, yes, He did. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. Oh, I made it this far. God grace has taken care of me all the years of my life. Hallelujah. I told y'all the other Sunday when my birthday comes this month, I'll let you know how old I am. <laughs> the reason I don't tell because it used to be a church I used to be in, I used to hear the little children when they find out the grown-ups age, they be around talking about it. How old they are. <laughs> How old they are, that's why I won't tell. <laughs> Praise God, but I'm thankful to God to be this age because there are so many that live to get half of my age. Hallelujah. I'm glorifying God today. Thank God today for life portion of health and strength. You know, for a couple of weeks there, I was a little under the weather. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I thank God that I can walk around and won't get short of breath. I'm, I'm thankful to God that God touched my body. His grace, church, his grace. Like he told the apostle Paul, he says, my grace is sufficient. Paul wanted him to move the thorn from his flesh. But you know, a lot of time when we depend on God so much and ask God to do so much for us and don't try to do nothing for ourselves, we just depend on God and God allow us sometimes to do things for ourselves. Ain't that right? Yeah. His grace has got me here this morning. I was <coughs> reading that bulletin. I said, my goodness, it seemed like the time just changed. My goodness. Gosh, I'm having a problem getting out here at this time. I guess I just, <laughs> I guess I practice next week getting up early. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank God for life and health and portion of strength. I was telling one of the brother asked me how I was doing. I said, my mama used to say, she doing so-so. But you know, I'm going to go a little bit further. I feel good this morning. <coughs> I feel good this morning, and I thank God for all of you that show concern towards me. You know, it's a blessing when you know people love you. The Bible says, love thy neighbor as yourself. And I thank all of you. Whether you call me, whether you bought me food, whether you were just praying for me, whatever you did, I thank God for you. Hallelujah. We don't have to always hear a person's voice. We don't always have to see a person's face to appreciate what they're doing for us because we know a lot of time they are doing something. And a lot of time, if you don't see me, I'm praying for you. Hallelujah. I was looking for our little old sister Smith. Minister, Brother Smith, what is our little sister Smith? She's uh, she our grandson. He has a basketball tournament in West Palm Beach. 
Oh my goodness, will you tell her we miss her. I really miss her, praise God. Hallelujah, with her little bold speaking self. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God. We're not going to prolong the time today. We want to ask you to get your Bibles now. And we want you to turn to Mark, the fourth chapter, 35 through 41. It's so good to see unity filling up. Each Sunday, the light unity just keeps filling up. Pretty soon, we're going to have a church full of people. But that's all right. You are here. Hallelujah. God has got you here. We're going to read Mark, the, fifth, the fourth chapter, 35 through 41. And I'm going to be reading from the NIV. The title of this here is Jesus Comes to See. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him alone, just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to the disciples, why are you so free? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. God bless. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, Praise God. We have several scriptures. This is written in, but we're going to take the one in Mark. You can find it ag again in Matthew's 8, the 8th chapter. Praise God, 23 through 27. And Luke 8, chapter, the 22nd through the 25th. And I was subject today. Thank you, honey. I sure wanted some. Thank you so much. I'm going to drink a little water. Thank y'all for loving me. Our subject today is, let us pass over the other side. Let us pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, today we humble ourselves under the hands of the Almighty God, thanking and praising you, Lord Jesus, for this beautiful, bright, sunny day that you have made us. A day that is set aside because, God, you are a set-apart God. You are a sins of unrighteousness and creating us, God, a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. The Bible says, I was glad when they said, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm going to tell you something. I heard one of the preachers often say, he said, you know, it's a blessing to be saved. He said, I don't know how people can live without being saved. Brothers and sisters, there's so much happening out in this world. A lot of time, if you don't watch the news and know what's going on, you won't know what's going on. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the ones that is here. There are some that need prayer today. Maybe can't, can't get here. Lord Jesus, maybe they're in their bed and can't walk around. Whatever the need is, we know today, God, you got it. Have mercy upon our families, oh God, our children. Some of our children don't know you for the part of their sin. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to look upon them, oh God. We pray, God, that you would just have mercy upon our home. Sometimes, Lord Jesus, people don't have food to eat. But God, you got it, whatever we need. Hallelujah. You got it, God. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to give us the strength, courage. And if we hear, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, about how people are acting and doing we don't have to go to that person being so boastful. We can tell them what does said the Lord. If the Lord tell you to witness to them, 
You witness to them, O oh God. Give us grace, love, and mercy. We thank you for the prayer line that Unity Christian Church has every day, Monday through Friday. We thank God for the person, Deacon Long, how he gathered his, the people together. And he, people from different states is calling in on that prayer line. And we prayer helps. I often hear a lot of people say prayer helps. Hallelujah. And it sure help help. It helps all of us, oh God. Even when we're going through bereavement, praise God. A lot of times we pray and ask God to give us peace. God, give us peace, oh God, because we certainly can't give it to ourselves. So we asking you, Lord Jesus, to take, pay attention to what the word is saying. Praise God, because Jesus is the answer. Oh God, whatever we need, God has got it. We're going to ask all these blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the King of kings and Lords of Lords. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. We were talking about how Jesus was teaching, praise God, hallelujah, and how the people start gathering around him. And he, it was so many people, the crowd was getting so big until he asked him to get him a boat. He went out in the boat and he was sitting down witnessing to the people praise god hallelujah we need to be witness to praise god hallelujah don't never think that you know so much that you don't need to be witness to praise god hallelujah like i was saying in the prayer what we need god is got it ain't that right he's got it brothers and sisters so we just need to pray praise god it's praying time hallelujah praise god i will look unto the hills from whence comes my help my help coming from the Lord that, that made the heaven and the earth. The Bible says, praise God, that Jesus neither sleep nor does he slumber. You can be in your bed at night sleeping, oh God. Hallelujah. And Jesus has got his eyes on you, praise God. Hallelujah. There are people breaking in people's homes. There are just so many things that is going on. But praise God, Jesus, hallelujah. He come down, praise God. As a man, as a babe, praise God, hallelujah, to die for his people. Because he loved us so much. Ain't that right? Hallelujah. hallelujah. I love Jesus today. And I know you love him too. Because if you didn't love him, praise God, you'll be at home, praise God. Probably watching the ball game, praise God. I like the judges, you know what? But the judges got their place in my life. And praise God, and the church got their place in my life. When it's time to go to church, praise God. Praise God, I want to hear that word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus, he sit down in the boat. Praise God, out in the lake. He taught the people many things. He even told them parables. And we don't explain a lot of times what a parable is, praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus called 12 men to discipleship. And later on, they was, a, they was apostles when he Pray, they were disciples when he first called them, but later they was apostles. Praise God. Jesus got in the boat just as he was, probably tired and weary. He led them, he laid in the back of the boat and prayed God went to sleep. Have you ever been so tired? You may have been in church all day, or maybe you were singing or whatever you were doing for the Lord. Praise God, and you just was tired because sometimes. Being in, in the church do tie you out. Jesus, he become as a baby. He grew up as a man. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. He was tired. So he went to sleep. And they went in, in this, this lake was so, it, I mean, it, it, was, it was a storm came up on this lake. Praise God. Hallelujah. Have you ever been out in the water where the storms come up, a rain come up? Have you ever seen the lightning hit water? Praise God. Hallelujah. We was in Sanibel one day. And praise God, and the lightning came up. And I mean, that lightning was just hitting the water. And you know, it's scary. You can't bluff Jesus. Praise God. You can't play with Jesus. You better get on away from there. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come these men. Praise God. Hallelujah. They was in the boat. Hallelujah. How would you love to know the inner process and powers by which his word stilled the raging waters. What a rebuke to the disciples. Why are you afraid, he wanted to know. They knew who Jesus was. Do you know who Jesus is today? Do you know who he is? 
Why don't you call upon him and praise God when there are things going on in your life? Why don't you call upon him and praise God? He said, where is your faith? Hebrews 11 and 1 tell us, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. You cannot see faith. You just got to believe it, praise God. If you didn't believe that you had faith, you wouldn't have been saved today, praise God. I call upon Jesus, praise God, when I got saved. And the old saints used to tell him, call upon him and tell you can't call him no more. I said, how are you going to call him and you can't call him no more? But you know I accept Jesus as my personal Savior. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you another thing about when I got saved. I used to smoke. I used to love to smoke. Praise God. And a lot of the saints, you know, when we was working at Yoda Brothers, one of the older, the older ladies, everybody in here, I think, knows Sister Bab. She used to go through me and Sister Nia's pocketbook. And I said, what are you looking for? She was looking for cigarettes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you something, saints of God. Those habits, those worldly habits, they are not easy to give up. You think you don't give them up, but sometimes if you go around people that's doing it, they are, you smell that smoke. I used to see them throwed up on dashboards and cars, and I said, boy, I wish I had one of them. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> but you know what? One night I was home praying, and God delivered me from them cigarettes. He said, I'm going to help you when you get ready to help yourself. But a lot of times, brothers and sisters, we want to do something, but praise God, we, we, our mouths speak one thing, but our heart tells us another thing. And I thank God for delivering me from them cigarettes, praise God. Hallelujah. I used to love to drink vodka, praise God, hallelujah. But praise God, he delivered me from that. I thank God, hallelujah. And hallelujah, behind he came, praise God, and he came to redeem us back to his father. Because praise God, the, the goats and sheep and all that stuff that they was using, the priest was using, they used to put on them animals, praise God, and send them out into the wilderness, praise God. Praise God, hallelujah. But that didn't help none. Praise God, I thank God. But Jesus delivering me. <laughs> hallelujah. <clears throat> I thank him. I thank him. Don't you thank him today? I thank him. And we don't have to walk around so proud. Thank we this and that. Because God delivered me. We don't have to boast and think we know so much because we don't know nothing. The Bible tells us our thoughts are just as far as heaven as heaven is from here. I thank God, hallelujah, that he delivered me. How he saved me. Hallelujah. Let's go on to the other side. I got to see who's over there. Praise God. Somebody more than these people need me. So I got somebody I got to deliver on the other side. And you keep reading this scripture, praise God. Go down to the fifth verse and how God delivered those people. How a young woman had died. Praise God. Twelve years old. And praise God how this man's daughter, hallelujah, was sick. God delivered her. That's why he had to go on the other side. Just like with these, this virus, praise God. We're afraid of that virus, praise God. But God is delivering his people. He's delivering us, oh God. Hallelujah. And we got to wear masks. That's all right. As long as it save our life, praise God. And help us to stop being so hard-headed. When they tell us to do something, let us do it, praise God. As long as it's, they agree with the word of God. God is a good God. Ain't that right? Hallelujah. Now, this message is not the way I wrote it, but I'm going by what the Holy Spirit told me to say. And I said, thank God how he done delivered us, how he take care of our children. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's so many of our children getting hurt, so many of our children getting killed. But you keep praying for them because Jesus had to go to the other side, just like we have to go to the other side. I love God today because he is a deliverer. Praise God. When I was rich and done and didn't know I had a God on my side, Jesus was right there. And I thank God for deliverance, oh God. Today, hallelujah. I used to be a wild young lady. And my mother had 12, nine girls and three boys. Praise God. And I was one of the wildest of them girls. And praise God, mama used to tell me, Willie, I don't know what's going to happen to you. 
Praise God. But God called me in when I was in my early 20s. He called me in, praise God. And I thank God for the deliverance, oh God. You can talk about me as much as you please. The more you talk, I'm going to bend my knee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, praise God. I don't care what our life used to be like. I'm not like that now. Because God grace, God grace have kept me. Hallelujah. God grace has delivered me. And I thank him. I thank him. I glorify his holy and righteous name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I remember, praise God, I had a cousin named Dorothy Lee Brown. Praise God. And I always used to hear my mother and them say, a disobedient child won't never live their days out. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you know, when that girl was, she was 17 or 18, she got married, she got pregnant. Praise God. And she died trying to have her baby. She used to tell her grandmother. She used to pull her clothes up, pat herself at her grandmother. Praise God. Hallelujah. But God, hallelujah, he took her out of this world. I mean, her was the same age. And, and that's been like 50 or 60 years ago. He took her out of this life. She was so disobedient. Let us go to the other side, brothers and sisters. Let us go and see what we'll find out over there. Somebody over there needs Jesus, praise God. I need Jesus. You need Jesus, praise God. Our children need Jesus. Praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I love Jesus today. Don't you love him, praise God? And the, the disciples, after Jesus going to come, that storm, and they was wondering, what kind of man is this? They already knew who Jesus was. But you know, when Jesus calmed that storm, he did it, praise He laid down because he was tired. That was from the humanity. But then when he rebuked that wind, that was from his divinity, praise God. He was, he was letting them know, I am God. And without me, there is no other. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. You know what I'm talking about. Why don't you say amen? Praise God. You're sitting up here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some of us got on these masks and scared of getting that virus. Praise God. God is right here now, brothers and sisters. Jesus is on this side now. Hallelujah. Why don't you praise him? Why don't you glorify him? He's worthy. He's worthy of every praise. I love Jesus today. Don't you love him? Praise God. And here the other Sunday when I told y'all, I said, I'm going to have to sit down. Praise God, because if I hadn't to sit down, I'd have fell down. Praise God. But you don't know how much, talk, I mean, how much you have to breathe. It's, it's, breathing is hard. But we walk around taking things for granted. Walking around, think we can breathe some. No, we can't. But if God don't give us the strength to breathe, we're going to fall out or we're going to die. And I'm going to tell you something. Stop taking things for granted. When you're out there on the highway, I try to remember when I get in that van, Lord, help me to get where I'm going. I need to go to the store. Help me to get to the church. Help me, Lord Jesus. I, we take so much for granted. And I'm going to tell you another thing. The things that we call ourselves God, they don't belong to us. They belong to God. Hallelujah. God only lent them to us. He lent us our children. All the things that we think we got, they not ours. They belong to God. He's on the other side. Let's go to the other side. Hallelujah. God is a deliverer. He is a deliverer. He is a way maker. All these demons, praise God. Hallelujah. That is attacking people. That ain't nothing but Satan using people. Satan is using people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us stop being so flip at the mouth. Let us, oh God, hallelujah, go to the other side. Because that's what Jesus, Jesus, praise God. There was a man that was full of demons over there. Praise God. He, hallelujah. He asked for our, he asked deliverance, oh God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I lost my husband four years ago. And I have to ask God, let me. Go to the other side. I need your peace today, Lord. I need your love. 
I need your touch. I need you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. I need your faith, oh God. Give me just a little bit more of your faith. Because faith is the substance of things hope for. Evidence of things not seen. I love you today, Jesus. Hallelujah. I love you today because you first loved me. Hallelujah. And we can't get out and back balls and brag about what we got. Because praise God, God the one give it to us. What we need, God got it. And I'm going to tell you another thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Like I said, I'm going so different than what I had wrote out this message. But you know what? This is the way. I'm not going to apologize because this is the way God wants this message to be preached. Because we go on to the other side. Hallelujah. Do you hear much about the virus now? But you see the gasoline going up, don't you? You see everything going up. I went to the dollar store, I think it was yesterday or the day before. I see they done attached 25 cents on each one of those items. Praise God. I said, you know what? I said, God is a good God. Hallelujah. Everything is going up. But God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Call on Jesus because he's on that other side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we still getting the word of God. We put the brother have prayer service. Praise God uh, every day. Praise God. He have Bible study. So what do we ask we do we need? We need Jesus. We need Jesus. Hallelujah. I haven't been coming to Bible study lately, but I'm going to start back. Even if I have to learn how to use Zoom. Sister Floyd, I tell you, me, I've had, she taught me how to get that uh, uh, start with my phone. So I said, I'm going to have to go back over to Sister Floyd. Let her teach me how to use Zoom. I know she gets so tired of me. (laughs) She just got so much patience with me. Praise God. But you know what? I want to learn how to do. But I want to come to the church and get Bible study. Because you can ask more questions than you can if you own that Zoom. But brothers and sisters, I tell you, let us go ahead and do what we can. Because I really, really believe that Jesus is soon to come. I know we've been hearing this a long time. But I'm going to tell you something. We better get to praying. And, and you know, the ones that ain't on that prayer line, if you can get on there one or two days a week, get on that prayer line, praise God. Because God is a prayer answering God. There might be something that you don't, in your house, you don't need to pray for. But you got friends. You got people that you know that can talk, talk to God. Get on the prayer line. Pray for somebody else. The Bible tells us to love our neighbor as ourselves. He said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul and mind, and your neighbor as yourself. You know, we count as ten commandments, but you put them together, praise God. You bind them, the two of them together, and it makes two. Praise God, because there is ten, praise God. But you put those commandments together. Study the commandments. And see how many commandments you'll get out of that. You'll get two. You'll get one to love God, one to love your neighbor as yourself. Let us, okay, let us be bold and let us talk about the Lord. The Lord will give it to you when you're supposed to witness for him. He will give it to you. A lot of times you might be talking and having a conversation with somebody. And the Holy Spirit will tell you, said, I want you to say, tell this person this. You tell that person that. Don't be ashamed. Because God said, if you be ashamed to honor the world, he'll be ashamed to honor, we'll be, he'll be ashamed to honor our Father, who is in heaven. I don't want to dishonor God. I want to praise him. And I'm going to tell you another thing. God is a holy God. He's set apart. Hallelujah. He's set apart. And if you say, Lord, I didn't mean to say that, you better repent in your heart. You better say, Lord, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Because I want to tell you, it's coming a day. We ain't going to have a chance to repent because the Bible tells us after death is judgment. Praise God. We can stand up there bold and, and think we know so much in front of God if we want to. We better repent right now because we ain't going to have another chance. I was thinking about my husband the other day, and he told me, he said, you're going to see him. He said, but it ain't going to be like it was in this life because, see, we all we ain't going to be no such as married and given in marriage. When we die and raise from the dead, it ain't going to be no such a thing as marrying and giving in marriage. Because God, praise God, he going to have the final say. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God today for Jesus Christ, who is Mary's son.
who is very first son. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God for Jesus today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Mary's son, hallelujah, that he was a carpenter. I hear some, some of the preachers said he was here three and a half years. I can't find that in the scripture. I find where he was here three years. But it don't matter because he was here. He was here and he saved us. The one that came to him, I, he saved them, praise God. Through grace we are faith, saved by faith. So hallelujah, let us get on one accord, brothers and sisters. When they was in that upper room, praise God, hallelujah, the 120 souls, hallelujah, they got on one accord. After 10 days after Jesus had risen, went on back to his father, the Holy Spirit came, praise God, and the people that was in Jerusalem. They didn't know what was going on, but Jesus had sent that Holy Spirit. Right here. Hallelujah. So we got better get on one accord, brothers and sisters, and help us. Help us on this tedious journey because sometimes the enemy will use whoever he may. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ephesians tells us, hallelujah, we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but we are fighting against principalities, rulers, and darkness in high places. So let us just get on one accord and help us to love and treat one another right. Yeah. If you know you done talk wrong to a person, praise God, hallelujah. Tell that person you're sorry. Tell them you're sorry. Hallelujah. It ain't, it ain't don't, don't hurt you at all to tell another person you're sorry. Be on one accord, brothers Amen. and sisters. And as Jesus Christ died for the sins of this world, praise God, hallelujah, you won't have to worry when Jesus comes because you done did everything God told you to do. He said, I am Alpha and Omega. He said, I'm the beginning and, and the end, the first and the last. So let us get on one accord, brothers and sisters. Yeah. And let us love one another as Christ have loved us. Praise God. Just all these people that was dying when, praise God, when that virus came out. Spoiling he just took more than he did take. I mean, he left us here. I mean, we can witness to somebody. He left us here to finish raising our children, to help with our grandchildren, to just tell somebody else what does said the Lord. Hallelujah. We ain't too good for that. Tell somebody what God done did for you. Tell somebody that God loved them. Because a lot of people don't even know God love them. Praise God. Hallelujah. I love Jesus today because he first loved me. I thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, everyone, for coming out today and hearing the word of God. Take the word with you. Take God with you everywhere you go. Hallelujah. You can get out there in the street. And I said, gosh. All the way this gas going up, you would think people would stay home. But look like more people getting out on the highway. Praise God. Even gas, just about $5 a gallon. They still out there on the highway. So, <laughs> praise God. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go. In the streets, in the church, in the, in the saloon, if you're going in there. Even in the restaurant. Wherever you go. <laughs> wherever you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all excuse me, I'm going to drink some more of this water. Because my mouth is getting dry, my throat too. I love you guys. I really do. And I, think, I thank everything that y'all do for me because Jesus, he went to the other side. He saw somebody like me. And he said, there she is. I'm going to save her. Praise God. Hallelujah. I call upon the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And he heard my cry. I call upon him. And he heard my cry. He delivered me. Praise God. So here I am now, brothers and sisters, telling you about what that said the Lord. Praise God in the name of Jesus. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Praise God. But God said he ain't got no respect to person. He ain't got no respect to person. So brothers and sisters, Let's get on board. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you're not on board today, let's get on board. Because yeah. he's coming back. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, I'm coming back for a church. A church without spot or wrinkle. Yeah. Praise God. And you know what that means. Have you ever had clothes and they be wrinkled in a basket? <coughs> <coughs> Whenever they wrinkle, 
Did you try to uh, uh, press the wrinkles out with your hand? And look like the more you do, the wrinkles they get. So he said, I'm coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. So you know what a wrinkle look like. We have to go grab that iron, don't we? And press them wrinkles out. So he said he's coming back, and I believe him. Because the Bible says so. And we don't know when the day nor the hour that the Son of Man is going to appear. When we know anything, he's going to be here. Hallelujah. And the Bible said it is going to be just like the days of Nora. Giving in marriage, taking away in marriage. It's going, to be, it's going to be rough, brothers and sisters. When you know anything, them people that's been saved, they gone. They'll be gone. We be looking for one another. You might write, ring my phone. Where is she at? And hear my children. Where is my mom? And then they'll look shining and clear. Where is my mama at? I'm going to be with Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Let us pray for our families and our children. Because God knows we want our family and children to be saved, don't we? And I love y'all. And, and ask, ask God to continue to take care of you and give you a mind to keep coming to church and glorify his name because God is a good God. Praise his holy and righteous name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now we're going to cut this message off. I ain't going to say I hope you got something out of the message. Anytime God give you something and it don't go the way you had done it, Praise God, you know God done really did something on you. So I said, you know, <clears throat> that God has, he really give me this message because I'd have been sitting up here trying to see what I had wrote down here trying to read it. But you know what, God didn't do it that, that way today. Yeah. He just gave it to me like I had it in my spirit. Yeah. And I just told you what God had in my spirit. Yeah. Not going to apologize. I don't apologize for the word of God. When God give me something, I don't apologize. I might have stepped on some big toes and little toes. But praise God, hallelujah, because I sure stepped on mine. But you know what? <laughs> praise God, I'm going, and I'm going home, and I'm going to probably take me a good little nap. <laughs> like Jesus was in that boat, like he was in that boat resting. I'll probably go home after I eat Sister Crawford and them good food. And <laughs> after I eat the good food, I go home and rest. Just like Jesus was back there in that stern sleep. I'll probably be doing the same way. So y'all pray for my strength in the Lord. I, I love you. I love you. May God bless all of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the doors of the church is open. For anyone that don't know Jesus for the pardon of their sin, praise God. Hallelujah. Some is up and some is down. Some, you might have done something, praise God, and need repentance. Whatever the need is, God has got it today, brothers and sisters. So praise God, we're asking you to come to Jesus just as you are. We're wounded and sad. We found in him a resting place, and he has made us glad. We thank God for everyone that is here. Praise God. Come to Yes, yes. That's right. Come to him. Just now. Come on to Jesus. Jail. Come on. Don't be ashamed. Oh, Don't be afraid. Come to Jesus. Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy, the come first chapter, to Jesus. in the seventh verse, he said, God didn't give us Jail. the spirit of fear, but of love, power, he and of sound mind. God bless you. There might be some on the outside and of these walls. Praise God. And I heard that we still on Facebook. Oh, Whatever, if you can hear my voice. And if you don't know Christ as your Savior, come to Jesus right now. Today might be your last chance that you can come. So why don't you come on to Jesus? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My Lord will save you just now. You may be seated. God bless you. Thank you for allowing me to be your speaker for today. And God bless you. Hallelujah. He is able, 
save us and it will sustain us and we are so grateful for his word uh, as we he we God left this ordinance for us he said when you come together remember me remember the death and suffering And each time we come to worship, we come to the table. I am reminded of the minister said, if you missed it from the pulpit, you find it at the table. So at this time, we have the prayers of the loaf and the cup. How I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loved me. We love Jesus because what greater love that one could give that lay down his life for. God loved us as much as the sin his precious son, some 42 generations. So we can have the way back to thee. Oh God, as we partake of your broken body and spilled blood, we ask you, oh God, to search our heart and our mind. If anything, oh Father, that you feel, that you see is not in your will, oh God, we ask you to take it away from us. And Father, we ask you to continue to give us strength as we go on this Christian journey. And we give you all the glory and the praise which you rightly deserve. Amen. No, it was save me one day when I was long died upon the cross. No, it was the blood save.
Jesus was in the upper room with his disciple, eating his final Passover meal. After supper was finished, Jesus took a loaf of bread. He broke it and passed it to his disciples and said, This is my body that is broken for you. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me, and they all ate together. Likewise, he took the cup. He said, this is the New Testament in my blood. He, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me to show forth my death and suffering until I come again. They all drink together. After supper, they sang him and went out to the Mount of, Mount of Olives. This day, we're not going, we don't have a Mount of Olives to go out to, but we're hoping that we all stay and go to the fellowship hall where we can break bread together and thank God for landing it on the hearts of the Crawford family to feed us physical bread because Minister Witness has fed us spiritual bread. Then, as she has forestated, then we can go home <laughs> and take a nap. <laughs> so, we guys, Minister Whitney, to pray for, for, for a blessing for the meal and dismiss us. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for your people. Thank you for your word, oh God. The word of God is what saved us. The word of God is what's keeping us. Heavenly Father, we pray this morning, today, this afternoon that you would continue to bless us throughout this week coming up. Yes, and we pray, God, that you would just have mercy upon our children, our families, everybody, oh God, not just only our families, everybody, oh God, because yes, Lord. we know, Lord, that you love us all because you died for us all, yes, Lord. You didn't have no respect to person that you died for. So we ask you, Lord, to continue to bless us as yes, your people Lord, yes. in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, we're asking you to bless this food that has been prepared for us, oh God. We're asking you, Lord Jesus, to, as we take one bite, help us to, to just go ahead and enjoy it. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. We know that the food is really good and the food has already been blessed, but we're asking you to bless it again. Yes, yes. So, Heavenly Father, now we're asking you to keep us safe from all hurt, harm, or danger. Now, may the grace of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide now with your people now and forevermore. Let all God people sing. Amen. Amen. Amen.